everyone, Tiffany here with another cosplay tutorial and on this one we're going to be going over how I made my Riku daggers from my Final Fantasy cosplay. And here are some of the reference images that I used. And as always, I started off by making a two scale blueprint which you can get on my website at www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com or see the link below. And using this blueprint, I then used tracing paper to trace my sections that I was going to cut out of EVA foam as well as for the handle. So let's first talk about how I did the handle. I made marks using a sharpie onto C, P, V, C pipes and then cut each piece using a jeweler's saw. And next, I used a heat gun and heated up just the tip part of the C, P, V, C pipes. I did this until the pipe then became a little bit squishy and then I used a steel block and squished it flat. By squishing each of the ends flat, this makes it easier to attach as a handle inside your foam pieces and you don't have to have the foam as thick around it. Next, I traced each of my sections onto EVA foam and cut each piece out using an Excel blade. I also used a silver sharpie to trace my guidelines onto the foam so I knew where to sand. And here are all of the pieces of the daggers once they are cut out. To attach all of the pieces together, I applied contact cement glue to each piece and let fully dry before attaching them to each other. I repeated this process for attaching more EVA foam pieces to the blades. Now time for sanding. I first went around all of the edges of the dagger using a sanding drum. I sanded all of the pieces flat and you can see here what it looks like. Next using the silver sharpie as a guideline, I sanded all of the pieces at a 45 and for the blade part of the daggers, I used a box cutter to help carve out some of the foam and then finished sanding the blades using a sanding drum. For the gear detail piece, I again used a sanding drum to round all of the edges and then heat treated all of the EVA foam pieces using a heat gun. Next, I traced the gear detail piece onto the main dagger using a silver sharpie and then again applied contact cement glue to both sides of the EVA foam, let fully dry before attaching together. Now that all of the EVA foam pieces were attached together, I sanded the inside circle where the handle will be using a sanding drum and then rounded the edges at a 45 degree with the sanding drum again. For the little bead detail pieces on the daggers, I used some studs that I had laying around the house. For attaching the handle, I first traced onto the EVA foam with a silver sharpie where the handle will need to go. And next, I burnt out the hole using a soldering iron so that way the handle could insert into the foam. And once the foam had cooled down, I then inserted the CPVC pipes into the EVA foam and applied contact cement glue so that way it would hold it in place. And here is what the base daggers looked like. I then applied three heavy coats of Plasti Dip to each of the daggers and let dry. Now let's talk about how I painted the daggers. I first started off with a base coat of copper testers airbrush paint, followed by yellow. I then used masking tape to cover up each of the yellow airbrush painted pieces, and then airbrush painted the rest of the dagger with a copper red combination color. To add a little bit more depth to the piece, I then went back in with black airbrush paint to create some more shadowing effects. And when all the airbrush paint was dry, I removed all of the masking tape, and then went back in with a little bit of black airbrush paint by hand to all of the edges, followed by using iridescent bright silver acrylic paint around all of the edges to give the blades a more metallic metal kind of falling apart look, I guess. And then with a dry brush, applied more black paint so that way it would look more tarnished. And the only step left was to seal the daggers with satin clear enamel spray paint and let dry. And that is how I made both my daggers for my Riku cosplay from the game Final Fantasy. 